Here I have some Xperia 10 Plus and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So let me show you how to skip the factory reset protection, how to unlock this phone. So at the very beginning, let's start by inserting here the nano SIM card with the pin protection. So let me do it. Let's open the slot right here. Let's do it as simple as that. Let's insert here the nano SIM card. Here I have such a card with the characteristic edge right here. Let's put this card and let's insert the whole thing right here and press it to the end all right let's wait a few seconds until the device will be ready all right so as you can see here we've got the information about the pin protection so let's enter the pin the following information pops up let's hold down on this information for a few seconds here you've got the information icon in that corner, let's tap it. Alright, the following app info pops up in front of you. So from the following window, let's choose here the advanced right here and select browser app. Choose open links and from the following view, let's scroll down and here you should find the YouTube. So let's tap YouTube, tap again on the YouTube app right here. From the following window, window you need to find the notifications, let's tap it, notifications, choose advanced and select additional settings in the app. All right. That's it, now let's select about and choose here Google privacy policy, tab accept and continue, choose no thanks. And here you can use the Chrome, let's enter here hard reset.info. Alright. Choose here the menu key and select here the download, tap got it and let's enter here the following phrase Android 8. Tap search. Let's use this app, tap download, scroll down and here let's just download again. Tap continue, choose allow Chrome to access photos, media, etc. Tap OK. Tap open. And as you can see now, let's choose settings. Let's allow from this source. Let's go back, choose install. Choose open. And here you can use FRP bypass. So let's choose here Google Account Manager in my case for version 6.0, tab settings and let's allow from this source, let's go back, tab install, choose done and now let's choose bypass FRP, choose browser sign in, choose more key in that corner and tap browser sign in again, tab ok. And here we've got the sign in panel. So you need to sign in into some Google account. It would be any Google account not connected to this device, even the new one, just the Google account that you know the email and password. Let's just enter the email in my case. Tap next. It's time to enter the password. Choose here sign in. Alright, FRP bypass pops up, so now let's simply press power key, tab restart and let's wait a few seconds until you will be able to use your device.
Alright, as you can see the information about the pin protection pops up, let's enter the pin, let's unlock the screen, tap get started, choose accept, select Wi-Fi only in my case, alright, the phone is checking for updates, let's wait a few seconds. Tap here, don't copy. As you can see, account added. So the account that you had previously in that process is added, so it's a good sign. Tap here, next. Let's here tap more, more and accept to the following good services. Tap skip. You can here set the screen lock. In my case, let me skip it as well. Skip anyway. All right. Tap continue, tap no thanks, select not now, tap skip. Let's here scroll down, tap ok. And tap finish. So as you can see, just activate your device, but to fully erase the factory reset protection, now you need to perform the hard reset by using settings. So let me do it, let's unlock the screen, find and select the settings, scroll down to the bottom of the list, choose system, select here, advanced and select the reset options, choose here, erase all data, tap reset phone and choose here, erase everything. Let's wait until the operation will be done. All right, let's enter the pin again. Let's unlock the screen. Let's choose the language. All right. Tab get started. Choose accept. Let me skip the Wi-Fi connection. It's a good sign that we can skip the Wi-Fi connection. Tab next here. Tab more, accept. Choose skip the fingerprint unlocking, skip one more time, skip anyway. Tab not now, skip. Tab finish. And as you can see, just activate your device without the Google account. Now let me just find the software version. Let's just wait. The device is restarting. Alright, let's unlock the screen. Choose here settings. Select system. Choose about phone. And as you can see, here you can find and select the android version so as you can see this is the android version 9 with the february 2019 security patch level so that's it this is the method to bypass the frp in that device thank you for watching please subscribe our channel leave thumbs up under the video